السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Now we're going to solve question two on topic two mechanics. Now question two says a small metal pendulum. So you have a pendulum. Bob, it has mass seventy five kilogram. It's suspended at rest from a fixed point with a length of thread of negligible mass. The the mass of the thread is negligible. Also, the air resistance is negligible. The bob now then displaced to the left. So I move the bob to the left. What will happen when I displace it to the left? It will come back. This is the direction of motion and it will hit an object. This object was at rest. The velocity of the bob is 0.8. It collides with small stationary object. It has the same mass, which is 75 kilogram. Now, since we have a collision, so we can use the conservation of momentum to solve this type of question that involve collision. How I'm going to solve this question, the best way to do it, to make table. So I'm going to make table. I'll post in this table first and second object. So here, I have two objects. First object is the bob. This is the first object. My second object is the stationary object or stationary ball. The bob, I'm gonna give it a symbol first, so it will have M1, it will have a velocity V1, momentum P1, kinetic energy Ke1. Second object, I will have M2, V2, momentum and kinetic energy here we'll have initial and final mass of the bob is 75 gram it's not it's a unit i need to convert it to kilogram so divided by thousand or times 10 to the power negative three kilogram initial and final doesn't change 10 to the power negative three Second object is the small ma the small ball. It has the same object, 75 gram times 10 to the power negative three, initial and final. The bob was moving with a velocity 0.8, and this object was stationary, so it is velocity zero. Then we can calculate the momentum. We know momentum is what is mass times velocity. So I multiply these two quantities together, I should get 0.06. And here, when I multiply these together, I will get 0. Kinetic energy, I can calculate it from the equation half m v squared. So if I multiply half times mass times 0.8 squared, I should get 0.0. 24 and here I don't have kinetic energy zero because velocity is zero now the question says after collision now both object move together move together it means they stick together and they move with the same velocity so this velocity I don't know I'm going to give it a simple v I don't know momentum mass times velocity so it will be 75 times 10 to the power negative 3v, mass times velocity, 75 times 10 to the power negative 3v. I cannot calculate now the, the kinetic energy because I don't have, I don't have the uh, velocity. Right. Second, what I'm supposed to do next? I have to find the momentum. So how I'm going to find the momentum using the conservation of momentum. Conservation of momentum, P initial will equal P final. P initial, this one, this is the initial, and this is what the final. So this is P initial, this one, and this one. So P initial is 0.06 plus 0 equals P final. P final is here, this one here, and this one. So we equal 75 times 10 to the power negative 3v plus 75 
times 10 to the power negative 3v. Okay. After that, I can calculate v. You should get 0.4 meter per second. Now in, in IB, I write, I should write it in this format. This is the velocity. So this is the first part of the question. Second part now of the question, so calculate the velocity immediately after collision with it. Show that the collision is inelastic. Now I know elastic collision, momentum is always conserved whether elastic or inelastic. For inelastic, kinetic energy is not conserved, which means final, I know kinetic energy. If it's inelastic, I should prove that the kinetic energy initial should not equal the kinetic energy final. And this is what I'm, I'm going to prove now. Now let's go back to the table. What is the kinetic energy from the table? Kinetic energy here, I have 0 0.024. This is the initial plus zero. So let's write it down here. I have 0 0.024 plus zero equals kinetic energy final. Let's go back to the table. I have to calculate it here, 0 0.4 and substitute here. So it will be will be what let's do it together it will be let's do it here kinetic energy final it will be half the value of the mass which is 75 times 10 to the power negative 3 times the velocity times the velocity the final velocity the final velocity we calculated as 0.4 square okay times 0.4 square okay second object it has the same mass and same velocity so i can multiply this by by two because i have two objects and then we can find it 0.4 square times 75 times 10 to the power negative 3 so you should get 0.012 as you see 0.24 does not equal 0.012 so our kinetic energy is not conserved, okay? And after that, describe the change in gravitational potential energy through one cycle. So I, I know, I know when you have a pendulum, okay? Maximum displacement, I have gravitational potential energy will be maximum, no kinetic energy. At the equilibrium, I have the kinetic energy is maximum, no gravitational potential energy. So gravitational potential energy, it's maximum only when you have maximum displacement. Kinetic energy will be zero. And here, gravitational potential energy will be zero. That's it, uh, guys. Uh, question three, inshallah, in the next video.